Hey everybody, this is Wobbly Wallaby. Today I'll be discussing the Fox Herald. This is a great auto attack tale from the September 2022 Gacha Machine. I'll analyze this tale for different situations and also compare it to past meta gachas. How will this foxy gacha do? Stay tuned to find out. Fox Herald is the rarest gacha in the September's gacha machine. You have a 5% chance to get it. It gives move speed plus 5%, auto attack plus 2%, and then for each refined level from 1 to 6, you can get 1% extra auto attack damage. I personally find refined gachas to be an absolute pain. I dislike them a lot since repairing it is so expensive. You are guaranteed 6% auto attack damage if you refine it to 4, and then anything beyond that, well, good luck with that. Even at Refined 4, this is strictly better than the free-to-play alternative, which is the Dream Cat Tail. This gives you 0.5% auto attack damage per refine. It's quite expensive, and as you can see here, a Refined 10 costs 409 million on global. Also, this cat tail has no move speed increase either, so this alternative has a really hard time competing with the Fox Herald. Let's test our luck today and see if we can get it. Last month's gacha was such a pain to get. It took so much BCC and blue tickets to get it, which is why I'm so broke right now. Last month's gacha was very important for my farming, so I absolutely had to get it. So far, no luck. But great news, today's video is sponsored by Smile.one, which allows you to get discounted BCC and premiums for Ragnarok Mobile. They have been around for more than 8 years and have lots of global business partners for other games too. I've also talked to other people that have used this service before and they've had good things to say about it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. I'm going to do the cheap recharge first to see if I can get the first time recharge bonus and get the 1% catch on the next roll. I've had this happen before and also for my wife, so I'm just going to believe this superstition. Nope, no luck this time. Ah, <sighs> let's recharge again. Smile.1 is helping reduce my pain. As I'm rolling, you'll see Rickrim17 show up in my guild chat, and you'll learn more about this awesome guy in September when I do the Dagger Dorm interview with him. I blow through a whole bunch of BCC and, long story short, I don't ever get it. And I won't keep showing all my sad rolls. It's one of those bad months where I need to rely on my other accounts in order to demonstrate this. Next I'll do analysis. 5% move speed is really good for boss hunting, PvP, and farming. But this isn't so critical in my opinion for PvE. I do like that these new gadgets have move speed increase because I think these will make it compete well with the past gachas, otherwise people won't bother getting it. For any new players who happen to get this, it is quite good for auto attackers and especially for farming, so you should rejoice when you get it. However, this is a very situational card, so I'll go through a few scenarios. First, let me talk about auto attackers that maximize agility in their build. Many classes who take advantage of the Dragonfly Star card are already pumping in a ton of agility. As a result, they also use the Gacha Fluffy, which goes quite well with it. For you to reach 8% auto attack damage with Fluffy, you would need 300 agility, which is attainable by gear and skills. The big advantage of Fluffy over the Fox Herald is there's no refining needed. If you fail to refine the Fox Herald past 4, Fluffy is a better choice. If you don't care about move speed, I would highly recommend Fluffy as the alternative. For example, here is my Gunslinger, where I put as many stat points into agility as possible. My total agility is 349, and that includes the two-sided coin skill, plus the agility B meal. My auto attack damage is at 23.8%. That means I get an extra 8.8% auto attack damage. You can see when I remove Fluffy, my auto attack damage falls down to 15%. As a result, if you don't care about move speed, it is possible to get higher damage using Fluffy, especially if your agility is very high. For Fluffy versus the Fox Herald, 
I will not do a damage test since you can figure this out mathematically as to which one is actually better. Next, another common auto attack build is the Max Luck. Many classes take advantage of the Hugin Star card or the Mastering Star card, which will work very well with pumping up a ton of luck. The tail to use with this is the Rock Bunny, which is an extremely popular tail in the meta right now. It's especially good since you can also use it for non-auto attack classes. These tails are quite comparable, so it really comes down to, will 8% auto attack damage beat damage to monsters plus 10%? This is definitely a close one that I couldn't even call ahead of time. So let's get ready for some damage tests. Here I am on my CBT account, which I got it within 5 rolls. Yep, feels really bad man, but at least I can show this in action. For using my auto attack Ruin Master, I keep my head item and tail item clear for the damage test. Here are my stats. For attributes, I max luck and int, then I get enough agility to get 480% attack speed, and then the rest is in strength. I have 22,000 attack, 16,000 magic attack, 480% attack speed. I have 46% penetration. Note for this damage test I did not use my plus 15 combustible knife that gives me 20% penetration. This time I left my oracle mirror unactivated to have more typical penetration percentage than most people would have. I have 245.7% critical damage. I have 23% auto attack damage increase. I have 137% damage increase. And my physical damage increase is at 110.7%. For Ancient Relic, I am using the Elf's Piccolo for the nice 10% penetration. For Adventure Handbook, I have 3575 attack, 3078 magic attack, 65% attack deposits, and 65% magic attack deposits. Next, I'll equip my Fox Herald. To simulate the max refined 6 auto attack damage, I use the Luminous Niche and the Mansion Hero Vataru card to get 6% auto attack damage so I can experience the full extent of this gacha. If you want to simulate the refined 4 Fox Herald, I'd highly recommend using this combo for testing it. If you're a pessimist like me and are afraid to refine further, then you get a rough idea of how good this tale will be for your setup. Next I show that there are no enchants on this headwear or on the tail, and that is true for all the ones I use on this damage test. I set the dummy to dragon, large and undead. The strength is at 0%. I hit it for 34.71 million damage. Next, I switch to a 50% strength dummy. I hit it for 19.35 million damage. Next, I switch to an 80% strength dummy. I hit that for about 1.33 million damage. Next, I'll switch over to Rock Bunny. To make up for the plus 2 to all attributes from the Wataru card from the last test, I use the Papa Mark headwear that will give me plus 2 to all attributes, and the other properties will not affect the damage. I switch to a 0% dummy. I hit it for 35.11 million damage. Next, I switch to a 50% strength dummy. I hit it for 19.6 million damage. Next, I switch to an 80% strength dummy. I hit it for 1.35 million damage. Here are my results. At least for my character, Rock Bunny would beat a refined 6 Fox Herald in all cases. Was that expected? It was definitely a tough call, especially since auto attack damage percentage is a great modifier. This does show that Rock Bunny is quite an amazing gacha, and I'm sure many people are hoping this will show up in the time machine soon. Overall, I think the Fox Herald is quite good for newer players, but I think for veteran players that have passed gachas and certain key cards, this may not beat it. 
So if you're down on your luck and can't roll for it, I wouldn't get too upset over it. It may not be the best in slot after all. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.